controversy on the sidelines of the Army-Navy game. President Trump attended the rivalry in Philadelphia, taking the field for the coin toss, but it's what happened before the game that the military says it's now investigating. West Point cadets and one Annapolis midshipman captured on camera flashing what appeared to be a white supremacist hand sign during pregame festivities. Now, this is social media here of the signal. It resembles the OK sign with the thumb and the forefinger joined together in a circle. The remaining three fingers splayed out behind in the shape of a W and a P, presumably for white power. It is viewed by groups like the Southern Poverty Law Center as a white power sign. The gesture, though, is also used in the so-called circle game. It's a kid's game where someone holds a sign below their waist, and if someone notices it, then the person making the symbol is able to punch the person who noticed it on the shoulder. Military officials say the intent this time is unclear. Joining me now to talk about this, Malcolm Nance, author and MSNBC contributor. Malcolm, you're a Navy veteran. What is your take on all of this? Yeah, I'm an old Navy veteran. That's uh, bad for this whole take since I'm a chief. And let me tell you, as an old chief, I take a very dim view of their behavior in front of the camera. Uh, I cannot tell you whether it was a white power symbol or whether it was the, uh, you know, make you look game. One of them appeared to be the make you look game. The other one didn't. But you know what? I'm going to leave it to the commandant of West Point and the commandant, uh, you know, the commander of the U.S. Naval Academy, who, believe me, they are going to be going through this with a scythe. Because the good order and conduct and the appearance of probity and dignity of West Point and the Naval Academy have been breached. And that is precisely why by tomorrow morning we're going to have some very decisive uh, looks into precisely what happened. Is this a sign of the times? I mean, why does it seem like we're seeing more and more of these sentiments? Well, we're not sure whether we're seeing that sentiment, but, you know, as you know, the, the alt-right hijacked the OK symbol, doing this in front of, uh, you know, television cameras and photographs, which makes the symbol WP for white power. For a very long time, the media was playing this role in believing that that was just a hoax that was being used. It is now being used everywhere as a symbol of white supremacy, white power, pro-Trumpism. Uh, we've seen police officers, including one uh, who uh, was on a security detail for the vice president, was fired because they were using these symbols. But, you know, there does exist this subculture within the armed forces that plays this stupid little game in which you put your, you know, an OK symbol down below the waist and the other person has tried to put his finger through it or you get punched. That has been around since before my time in the armed forces and my father's time in World War II. But what we're seeing now is you may be seeing people who have, you know, not doing good order and discipline in the ranks, but you may also be seeing people who have an opportunity to present a white power symbol. And again, we are not going to be the arbiters of this. The armed forces are, and they are going to take an extremely dim view of it. And every single uh, player, anybody who's ever played basketball knows too, that's also a sign for the three-pointer, you know? So it's, like we said, it's all about intent here. Uh, going back to those students, what disciplinary action do you think that these students could possibly face? Well, they're already facing it because uh, by the time that they got back to their buses to uh, go back to the academy or, or, or up at West Point, uh, they will have been identified by their senior non-commissioned officers or their senior cadets uh, who were actually very clear who they were. By that point, it will have gone up the chain of command uh, by today when they arrived back at their academies. And there's already preliminary investigations being started at the, you know, the cadet level and the cadet leadership level. Not to mention, there is a very large hammer coming down from the commandant's office and the commander's office at the Naval Academy. Because, again, this is now a national scandal, even though it might not be a scandal. But... You know what? We're going to find out, and all of their senior non-commissioned officers, senior ranking officers, are going to be coming down on top of them like a ton of bricks because they have disgraced the armed forces, whether they were just, as we say, lollygagging and playing around, or whether they actually had the intent to make that symbol in front of a national audience. All right, Malcolm Nance joining us. Thank you, sir, for your expertise and your service.